In today's video, we are reviewing the computer's add-on. This is created by Jigarbov Productions and will set you back 660 Minecraft coins. This add-on will cost you £3.29, which is just roughly over $4. Computers sits with a 4.6 star rating out of 5. Nearly 800 ratings so far, with 80% giving it a 5 star. Here is the most recent change log for this add-on. If you have purchased this before, you should have an update for it. Updates for the quality of life features that have been introduced. I'm giving away a few codes for this add-on. Head over to my Twitter. The link is down below. Enter. It's completely free. Just like all the other add-ons we have checked out, I will be combining this with all of the Marketplace add-ons apart from Hiker's Friend. Because there's a few issues with this on my world. Enable the behaviors pack and it should automatically enable the resource pack. Then you're good to go. This add-on comes with the computer's guide. Let's open this and let's read all the details. It says, this add-on by Jigarbub Productions. What is computers? Computers is an add-on that includes, well, computers. These technological machines can do all sorts of fancy stuff, like send emails, play games, provide stats, and use other helpful features. How do you make them? Computers are very powerful, but because they are so powerful, they are also kind of hard to build. There are a few rarer things you need to find to get started, such as iron and redstone dust, to name a few. Redstone circuit. All computer components use these in their recipes. You can craft them with four redstone dust and four repeaters surrounding a block of sand. They don't do much on their own, but when you gather a few of them, you can build your first bit of tech. I think the best way to learn recipes with these kind of things is using a crafting table. You can just go ahead and type in circuit, and there is the redstone circuit. I'm pretty sure the book, this one over here, will probably tell you how to craft it, but I just use the recipe book. It's just so much easier to learn. So we've made a total of 13 of these portable computer this mini device can tell you some useful information like block coordinates light levels and the biome it's located you can even choose what it should display craft it with an iron ingot in the middle and four redstone circuits shaped like a plus. So this one you can kind of do freehand. I'm guessing it's that. And then that goes in the middle. And then we have ourselves a portable device, which can be placed. Oh, now this one is really, really cool. It does tell you your coordinate location. However, I can tell you there is a feature of Minecraft Bedrock Edition that does tell you in chat. I like the whole biome thing. One thing that Minecraft Bedrock Edition players don't really have access to is telling everyone which biome you are in and also the light level. So I think multiple ones of these are probably incredibly useful. Like you can actually turn specific ones off. Oh, you got to hit submit. Aha, there you go. So if you wanted to just tell it which biome you're in, you could do that. Or if you wanted it Okay, it takes a little bit of time to update. If you wanted to just tell you coordinates, blah, 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 you can actually just hit them. So I think a lot of these around your world will be super useful. I am curious, though, if this would actually work in the ocean. So if we place this down, tell me the biome. Ah, okay, so it tells you limited amounts of time, but then... It kind of breaks off. And this is a world I created before the aquatic updates. It's quite clear that we are currently standing in a lush cave. So will it recognize a lush cave? It will. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. I really like that. I was worried it was just going to recognize the biomes that are at the top level. And we can see the light level down here is nine, which is why no mobs are currently spawning. Okay. The really cool thing about this, though, is if you hit this it actually updates in real time. So you can hit this a couple of times to take it to a different location. I think after like three or four times though, it actually breaks and then becomes an item you can pick up. Ancient computer. This old thing is a workhorse and can still do all the functionality of its more modern counterparts. It just looks old. 
craft it with four redstone circuits, four raw iron, and a redstone block in the middle to power it. Okay, let's make ourselves a redstone block. If we go inside of here, we have a brand new recipe. We actually have two, but before we check that out, let's check out the ancient computer. And this is where other add-ons would be really useful with this one, because you could just go ahead and create yourself a computer desk. I used to have a computer like this in my house when I was a young lad. Anyway, it says, hello, I am your personal computer. What would you like to do today? So we have apps, email, and settings. So it says you can change some settings here. Manage your computer ID. Toggle some sounds on slash off. You can even unblock people from your block list here. So handy. So the ID settings, it says... Here's where you can set, view, or print your computer ID. The ID is how people know where they are sending emails to. So it's important. So you've got view ID. When people write emails to you, they need to identify which computer should receive it. If you want them to send it to this computer, tell them this ID, which is old JX413. Now, you can change your ID... So, oh, dude, there's so many different ones. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got Ancients, we've got OKs, we've got RGB, Home. There is so many different ones you're able to set. I kind of like that one. It would have been nice if you could customize it, but for the sake of today's video, we will class this one as Ancient PC 1. So there's also the ability to print ID, but we don't currently have a printer. Let's go and get ourselves some die and let's make one because it has to be placed within 10 blocks of this computer. A few moments later. Okay, so we've got what we needed. This can now be converted into this. We can now make ourselves one of these. And we're just going to put this right here for now. Can you interact with this? Aha. Okay, so if we go to this now. Settings, ID, and print ID. Uh, your printer needs pay. It's so darn needy. I got to get myself some some paper now so it surely needs to be just putting the paper inside of there aha it is okay third time is the charm let's get an id let's go to print we printed this uh we've got a computer id print out i mean i don't know what this is actually meant to do i feel like i've skipped the stage here but i just really like the idea of a printer let's check out the apps the old computer has games weather radar and stats i'm curious on the stats though because this will say welcome to the world stats most stats are reported from the time the computer add-on was installed until now use the drop down to choose which stats ah okay spark pe oh oh okay um let's go to which one have i had installed for a while we'll try spark pet and submit so it says, uh, Spark Pets, Light Stats, Pets Discovered 3, Pets Tame 3, Tricks 3, Cosmetics Applied. And this is why this add-on is brilliant, because it interacts with the other ones available. So we'll go to Stats. There's got to be some more information around here. Let's go to Spark Portals Submit. 23 portals made. Portal Colors 15. Portals Broken 3. Teleported 8. And Total Teleporters uh 20 let's try one more of these we're gonna apps we're gonna stats i'm trying to think of something crazy that we've got inside of here let's go to mutants because i messed around with this for quite some time bro i've been killing so many of the mutant chickens they're actually really common haven't killed any of the iron golems though Okay, and we only, I think, fought one of the wither bosses. Let's see what radar offers. It says, our radar will return coordinates and other information about entities in loaded areas of your world. And then we have, which radar would you like us to use? Computer everything, items, mob, monster, player, rideable, tamed, and villager. I'm going to go with mob. I'm going to turn this on, sort to closest. I'm going to bump this up. So this is telling me we have mushrooms, which I brought home. Snails drowned, zombie villagers, even the ones you have named. This is actually really awesome. And what I like about this is it will actually tell you the coordinates of a specific mob. So if you wanted to go and get yourself, let's say a zombie villager and one pops up, you could go and get it. 
and tame it. Oh, you can actually change and print the radar. So, um, okay, does this, if we grab this, aha, this is what I'm saying. Radar results. If we want to go and find ourselves a mushroom, we could go to this location, 305-63-324, and it will take me to a mushroom. And just like that, we have managed to find ourselves Reggie and the other mushrooms I gathered. There's also a weather app, but it does say about this. Hello and welcome to today's weather forecast. It turns out the get weather function is a little bit broken. But we can tell you the following moon phase. And then you're also able to change to like clear skies, rain, thunder. Oh. Oh, you're actually able to change the weather. Um, clear skies, please. Oh, I, I guess that's a pretty cool command. I actually think that could be incredibly overpowered though. But if you wanted to use a trident, you could just turn it on using a computer. Apps, games, ready for some fun. Here is a list of cool games you can play. Oh, sorry. My storage was only big enough to fit one game here. We have Bug Smash. A bug will appear in the left center or right of the screen. Smash it as quick as you can. So we have that. We have that. This, 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 this. this. Okay, I don't know how fast you gotta be with this, but... Come on. I'm just gonna, like, hit this a couple more times. And then I'm gonna see what happens when we kind of fail. So if I was to hit this, okay, we failed. I'm curious if you can print the score. We got show score. So it tells me the score, and then you can print the score. I love the prints, and we can grab this, and it's telling me that I could well be the highest score. One more thing available is emails. You can send short messages from this computer to other computers and even to random mobs. You can even send items with those messages. What would you like to do? So obviously I don't have any emails at this moment other than just the basic information about this. If you are playing with friends, they're able to send you emails and I can reply with giving specific items to somebody. So I could tap on pork chop. Hello. I have a question. Answer. Send. I'm excited. And update a gift. Hello. Is anybody there? Uh, please tell me more. I have attached an item. And we can hit submit. <laughs> Only problem is it's just stole all of my food. So let's go to send an email. I'm going to do this to a uh, random mob. I'm going to attach some sticks because I don't want to lose anything. Uh, I'm going to go and up. No, we'll just do another gift. And then we'll go to... Uh, I don't know. I have attached some items for you and hit submit. The only problem is I actually don't know who this has gone to. I think the best way to do this is to set up another computer. And I'm going to set the settings of this ID setting set ID. I'm going to set this as ancient PC and hit submit. And then I should well be able to send things from this computer over to that one. So email, send. We're going to send this to, you know what? I'm going to risk my netherite pick. I'm going to send it to the PC too. Hello, anyone there? Hit submit. And let's actually see if my pick is over here or if the computer has got or, or, or the computer has stolen it. Excuse me, sir. This is my computer. Email, read. Let's go to the real echo. Email options. And then we can do download attachment. Aha! We might still get it back. I was actually worried I was going to lose that then. The other computers. Well, they are basically the same as the ancient computer. They need different materials, which you can see in your crafting guide. That's where you'll also see the crafting recipes for the desk parts and different chairs. That's what I was saying before. I would like a desk and a chair. So if we go inside of here and we type in desk, there is a desk chair, which we will make. There's also old desk drawers, and then we've got the sides. They require them. So we need to make ourselves a couple of, I'm guessing these. So we can make them. Let's make a couple more of these. I'm curious as to how big the desk can get. So we'll make... Uh, three of them. We'll make a couple more of these because these are all going to be needed. 
And we'll also make ourselves a couple of these. Okay, let's make ourselves a desk. Let's get this thing down. So we're going to go and uh, that attaches, that attaches. And then I guess we'll go with another one of them. And then we'll go with a chair. And then remember, the information of this should actually save. There is a wrench, I believe, that makes things easier. But I can place this down here. Ah, okay. So the information in that does actually pop out. So when you're placing down a printer, make sure you do it in the correct location. And I love, love that this add-on can be placed on the side. Obviously, we put paper back inside of here. And then we can turn this thing on. And I believe all the information has actually saved. Wrenches and destruction. Using a wrench, you can break computers instantly. They will retain their data even as an item. So you can bring it with you, but they will drop any stored attachments. While your computer is picked up, people can still send emails to it for one Minecraft day, which is 20 minutes until you need to reconnect it to Jignet by placing it down again. Any mobs you emailed will also be able to reply. Craft the wrench with some two iron ingots and two nuggets in the shape of a wrench. So I've been showing you guys that you can actually break this with a couple of hits. This is a new feature I believe introduced. Previously, you had to use the wrench. Now it's not a requirement, which I think is the right way to do this rather than it getting over complicated and having to carry a wrench with you. So if we just type in wrench, we can make ourselves one of these. There is the recipe. If we tap on this, oh, you can change what it looks like. If you hit it, you pick it up instantly. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, what about this one? Is there like different designs for this one? Not quite, but this one has like the old build block. Or you can have it just like that. And I'm curious if that makes any difference. Apps, emails, and settings. And then this one has apps, emails, and settings. So I don't think that actually makes any difference. So the computers available are the ancient computer. We've seen that one. We do have the RGB computer. This requires Skulk. And we have the OK computer. This requires Iron. And of course, we have the portable. I did notice a gaming chair and an office chair. Let's make ourselves two gaming chairs for our setup. I'm going to make the new computers as well. So that can go there. And this one can go here. You can sit in this as well. I now need to make myself the RGB. So RGB. In order to make this, I need to get myself some redstone blocks. So if we do this, we can make ourselves one of these. Let's place this one down on here. Haha! -ha! This one looks so much cooler. Let's make the okay one. I've just discovered if you turn in your gaming chair, it will actually turn with you. We're going to check out the RGB PC first before we check this out. But apparently they are the same. Now, I believe the only difference is in terms of apps is more games are available. It does seem like the trivia is complete random as well. Do bats drop anything? The answer is no. Does the effect speed do? Makes you go faster. Can you see through glass? Yes. Can you boil eggs in a furnace? You, you can't. It's not a thing. Which provides better protection? Turtle shell, leather, or diamond? It's got to be diamond. Uh, what happens when you block a ravager? With a shield, it gives you trophy. Um, It gives the attack but block and nothing else. It gives a trophy. It's C, right? Yeah. Okay, what does the effect regeneration do? Makes your limbs grow back after being cut off. Makes your hair grow faster. <laughs> Uh, is the enchantment sticky real? No. Yes. See. Gross. Where do you find camels? Desert. How many legs do spiders have? They have eight. Aha! You correctly answered ten questions in a row. Hey, I got myself an emerald. That's nice. And then you've also got sound maker. Make some sounds. Be amused. Annoy your friends. So you can just... You can just annoy everyone with these sounds. There's also some server blocks, which I think are purely cosmetic based. There's also an RGB desk. It's not just the old desk that you can get. So this one can be placed down there. Haha. -ha. 
Remember, all your information should save. If there is one thing I would like, and that is the ability to send an email to a specific mob in your area. You can do random mob and you can do, strangely enough, a zombie, which I'm not going to send it anything, but I'm going to say hello. And then I'm going to say, can you talk to me next time you're online? You can send these to your friends. And what I'm saying is, if you could give, let's say we give the drowned, I don't know, like a bow. Later on down the line, my friend was to kill this and he dropped the bow. People would be like incredibly surprised. I wish that would be a really nice feature. It would be very, very unexpected. I personally think that this add-on is aimed towards multiplayer experience. This would be really fun with friends on realms or servers. I don't think it's aimed too much at solo play. I think this could be really cool. If your friend's on an adventure, they need torches or food or weapons and stuff like that. You could just go to your computer, send them some things, and they could then get them through the computer. All the links are down below. I really like this one, especially if you have a bunch of the other add-ons installed. I give it a 4 out of 5.